Welcome to your daily missed motivational, inspirational success tips. This is JJ Burden. So today is the day I'm having no surgery. I think I shared on my earlier Daily Miss podcast, I'm going to be having a septoplasty and turbinite reduction surgery. Long overdue surgery I should have had many, many years ago. I've had breathing problems for years. I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. And now here I am. But I want to share the story behind how and why I broke my nose and then the teaching point. There's always a daily miss, a success tip behind the stories I share. So I'll take you back to when I was 18. I was at the University of Oregon. I was on a track scholarship. I wasn't playing football that year. That was the the next year was when I walked on the team. So I was there to run track, and I remember my head coach or my assistant coach, John Gillespie, reminding me that I'm here to run track. Track training is what you do. Don't do anything else, just track training. And um, keeping that in mind, I always had the bug to play some football, though. And a lot of the guys were playing in flag football leagues there on the campus, and I wanted to play so bad. And one time my cousin, Dwayne Tyner, He's like, hey, we got a flag team. You got to play with us. You got to play with us. You know, you'll be fine. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And and I said, well, I'm just going to be very cautious. I'm not going to do anything crazy. And so we played the first game and we're playing, we're winning, having fun. I'm being extra cautious too. I've been very, very safe. And then the very last play. Now, we're already winning by a couple touchdowns, but we have the ball. And so they just do a Hail Mary. And I'm sitting there staring at the bottom like, no, don't try to jump up for it. You've done really well so far. But then the wide receiver instincts take over and I just jump up. And as soon as I launch up, another guy next to me, his name was Ross, big guy, former football player, huge arms. As I'm going up, he's coming down and then kaboom, his elbow just crushed my nose It cracked, it was loud, and there was blood everywhere. Oh, man, it was everywhere, just pouring out of my nose. Ambulance gets there. They rush me to the hospital. A couple hours later, I'm having surgery. And um, I remember just, I never, obviously back then, we didn't have the cell phones and all that other stuff. So I could feel my nose. It was pushed in flat and over to the left. And I remember the nurse giving me a mirror so I could at least see it. When I saw it, I was just, oh my goodness. And I only saw it one time, but it was pretty frightful. So needless to say, they got the outside structure right. They never got the nasal passage done correctly. And I've always had breathing problems in one of my nostrils. And I had been planning to get it corrected and Got through college, and then I got to the NFL, and every year I'd say, okay, I'm going to get it done this year, and then this year, and then next year, next year, and time went by, went by, and you know, now it's been many, many years later, I've gotten older, and it's gotten worse. So that's why I'm, I'm having this procedure. So what's the teaching point behind it? Well, I think there's a couple of things. One is that if you have someone that you work with who has in a position of authority over you. They're your boss, they're your manager, they're your teacher, they're your coach, whoever it is, respect their authority. They're there for a reason. They've been appointed to be in that position for a reason. And we have to listen to them. We have to respect them. Whether we agree with them or not, that's part of their role. And your role is to follow their their uh, instructions. Because if I had listened to my coach, John Gillespie, followed his recommendation, not go play flag football, I would have never broke my nose. I would have never had these breathing problems all these years. I would have never gone through a serious depression. I went through a depression right after the re- I recovered from that. It was a pretty tough period for me my freshman year at Oregon but these are things I could avoid it so that I think is the coaching point you know respect their authority because you know you may one day if you're not already be over your own team or over whoever and you'll want them to respect your authority as well and here's the other point okay 
I thought of this right before I, I shot this, but if you've got something medically or some kind of health issue or something you know that's that's not right and you know you need it you need to get checked, you need to have it fixed or repaired or surgery, whatever it is, stop putting it off. Don't delay it, stop procrastinating. Go get it checked, go get it done, and get it taken care of. You know, doing so, then you could eliminate the potential of it getting worse and maybe turning in, uh, into something that could be drastically, you know, worse as well. So just keep that in mind. So there you go. That's my daily miss. I'm going in tomorrow. Doctor says the recovery period is one to three, four weeks. I don't know what that means exactly, but I know for the first week I'm going to have these splints and things all in my nose. It's going to be pretty crazy. So I, I may not be doing a daily miss for a week or so. We'll see. We'll see. But if you haven't listened to them, this is number 81. There's a lot of them out there. So check them out. Get caught up. Share them. Uh, subscribe, recommend, because they're points for everyone. And the main goal is to help you achieve the goals that are important to you. So don't forget, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode.